In today's video, I wanted to try an arthritis hack that I found on Instagram, which I believe could help many of us as we go into Thanksgiving, some of you who celebrate that in the States, or for those of you who don't and you have other holiday plans coming up, I feel that this will be really beneficial. So I came across this Instagram account not too long ago, and it's by the name RA Life Hacks. So she basically posts rheumatoid arthritis, arthritis hacks that are easy to do. So for instance, let's say you're having trouble opening the door of your refrigerator or blow drying your hair. Two common things where sometimes when you have arthritis can be a little difficult. She provides solutions and more often than we realize, we open our refrigerators quite often, even our freezers during the holidays to get food out and desserts. So there is an rheumatoid arthritis hack that she posted on her Instagram that I wanted to test out today and see if it can be helpful for me or you guys because I've never tried this before so I'm going to do that right now so follow me over to my kitchen because I'm going to show you guys what she suggests you can do to help open up your refrigerator. Hey guys so I'm in front of my fridge and I'm going to try out the arthritis hack on RA Life Hacks Instagram account. I'm just going to read here what she writes on her Instagram post about this and she says to hang a towel or scarf on your fridge to use as a loop for your arm to open the door without using your hands. Okay, this is amazing because I know for me personally, my hands are a big issue and so let's see if this works. So I got a scarf here and I have to bend down a little bit because I'm a little tall for the camera here but um, I don't know if mine is the correct type of scarf because hers seems more of a different type of material. Mine's more spongy. You guys can see it here in the corner of the video, but this is kind of what I have here. So I'm just gonna loop it like she did twice. Okay. Kind of make it like a little circle here you ladies and men know what I'm talking about who wear scarves and then I am going to loop it over one of the sides of the fridge so then it kind of just hangs there that's what she did as well and then she also said to use a towel which I have as well I think this might be a better material because it's more sturdy, so I'm just gonna use this kitchen towel. And I think honestly, a kitchen towel probably would be the most realistic thing to use when it comes to opening your fridge in your kitchen because I don't know if anyone's always going to have a scarf on hand unless it's winter time, like now, the holiday season, of course. Um, but you know, I literally just got this out of my closet over here by the fridge, so that's the only reason why. Otherwise, I wouldn't really have a scarf on hand because everything's stored away still. Um, oops. But um, yeah, no, we wear flip flops around here until it's like snowing. At least I do. But um, well, not flip flops, but you know what I mean. Not anymore, that is. But anyways, and so that's what she does. And yeah, so she basically puts her forearm in between this little space here the loop and then she pulls that way i'm willing to try pulling it with my hands because obviously you know i open the fridge with my hands sometimes the freezer is the hardest part and for those of you who have a fridge where you know the doors here are on the top and then the freezer on the bottom you know what i mean how heavy that can be so I'll, i don't know i have to like use my body weight when i pull these things and i know that's what my physical therapist my occupational therapist taught me is to not pull from the joints but pull from the body and so that's what's really helped me as well and I guess this is kind of similar to that when you use your forearm because our forearms are really strong especially our elbows that's what I've been told like there's four bones that collide into there and so it's like the strongest point in your body um, so yeah I mean I don't know if this will necessarily work for people who have elbow issues or have had surgery on your elbow, you might not want to try this because of the tugging and the pulling it might not be advisable, but I know for me and my right elbow, I probably wouldn't do this on there, but my left elbow, my arm, 
I'm gonna do that right now. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I'm gonna put my forearm here. I gotta shift the camera. Okay, so I'm going to put my forearm through the scarf loop that I made and then I'm going to pull my fridge open. Let's see if this works. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. That did work. Look at that. I can grab some OJ juice. Wait, I'm going to try it one more time. And like I said, I would not recommend using like a spongy, uh, okay, I can't speak. I would not recommend using a spongy scarf like I have here. Okay, now I have it better now because I missed two loops. So now I have a thicker loop. All right, let's go. Hey, not bad. Okay, now I'm gonna try opening it with both of my hands and see. Oh, that was pretty easy too. All right, well, if I had to give a rating on this hack, I would say nine out of 10. Probably nine out of 10 because of my own fault in regards to not having probably the best scarf to use, honestly. But I think if I had like more of a, a cotton type of like thicker material, which I do, but I just don't have it on hand, it would definitely work. I'm gonna try a towel now just to see. And the towel though, I don't have any way to make a loop. So, cause this is kind of like a smaller towel. So I don't think it's gonna necessarily work um, to wrap my arm around it cause I can't tie a knot. But let's see if it works just with pulling it open with like one arm. Oh my God, that's so easy. Now two, oh my God, really easy. Yeah, that's a 10 out of 10 for sure. And then obviously if you can make a a loop by tying a knot if your towel is long enough. Mine's not really that long enough. Um, but yeah, awesome idea. And for anyone who has like this type of fridge, you know that it is heavy duty and the doors are not arthritis friendly whatsoever. I know when we got this fridge, I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna open that to be honest. But no, I mean, you get used to it. And like I said, you just use like, you know, your core and, um, your body weight to open the door. So that's also a good thing to keep in mind as well when you open things. Also ask your rheumatologist and your occupational therapist or physical therapist if you um, have one on hand to give you advice on how to open things and not give stress on your joints. I know there is an amazing count as well that gives a lot of arthritis tips and it's Arthritis Life. Cheryl, she actually is an occupational therapist. She's been living with rheumatoid arthritis for 17 years. She gives a lot of advice from a professional perspective as well. And I may try out some of her hacks. And one of the ones that she actually had um, done for rheumatoidarthritis.net, she created a video series. She suggested to use Dyson Grip when opening your car door handle. And so that just gave me an idea of maybe using it to open a French handle if, for instance, you need just better assistance with grip. And so I have Dyson here. This is what it looks like. I'll link it in the description box below for anyone who may want to purchase one that's not affiliated or sponsored by me in any way. But this is something my occupational therapist told me to get and I have a white one as well, which is even stronger. But this is something that you probably should have on hand if you have arthritis or if you just don't have arthritis but a jar or something is really hard to open because let's face it, we're all going to have some form of arthritis eventually as we age. Maybe not the autoimmune and autoinflammatory form of arthritis that is rheumatoid arthritis, but it's important to you know protect your joints and jar openers and all those other things were created for that reason. And Dyson Grip is really something that you can even put in your purse. If you go somewhere, you can't open something, you might not wanna you know, ask someone or feel comfortable to ask anyone to open a bottle of water for you. So for me, I bring this all the time if I go out um, and I don't have really anyone I feel comfortable asking to open. But um, sometimes you do and that's okay. Um, you just gotta have some courage and you know ask for help. Um, so I'm just going to try this out now. So like it's a little like sticky material so you can kind of see here like 
it is very firm. So I'm just gonna wrap it around my fridge handle. Let's see if it sticks even. Cause it kinda has a sticky uh, material to it. Oh my God, it's, it sticks. That's amazing. All right, it's coming off now. Okay, so I'm just gonna open my fridge and see how it feels. Yeah, that definitely is a better grip. Sometimes this material on the fridge can be a little slippery. Um, and if you have like any pain or inflammation in your hands, that might not always be the best. But anyways, so that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. If you guys give this a try this weekend or any holidays coming up that you have and you're opening your fridge a ton, let me know in the comments below how you like that. And I also quickly wanted to mention that for my Vlogmas videos, I'm going to be posting some of these hacks on here and doing some more of them. So you guys can expect to see that as well. All right guys, that's all I have for this week's video. I wanted it to be short and have some fun with it because I always wanted to try one of her hacks. So I hope you found this helpful. And let me know in the comments below if you have an arthritis hack that's helped you or if you have come up with your own or have maybe tried one of hers. And I just wanna make an announcement that coming up on December 1st, I am going to be participating in something called Vlogmas. And what Vlogmas is, is pretty much something that occurs in the YouTube community where it is a sort of a challenge for all vloggers and YouTubers to post a vlog once a day from December 1st to December 25th. So this is my first time doing it and I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I don't really know exactly what kind of vlogs I'll be posting yet, I have ideas, but I'm just letting you guys know if you see me posting a vlog every day of December, that is why. And I do have other sit down videos like this. Yeah, I'm excited to try out Vlogmas. It's something I've always wanted to do, but for one reason or another, I just wasn't active on YouTube. Before we go, I wanted to announce the Spoonie Star support of the week. Here they are. Thank you so much for showing me love on my Instagram. And if any of you want to be featured on my next video, all you need to do is stay active on my Instagram and YouTube channel. As for anyone who has made comments under my recent YouTube videos and I haven't responded, I have not forgotten you. I don't want you guys to think that I'm ignoring the messages. I just haven't gotten a chance to go through them all and I appreciate all the love and support from each and every one of you for watching my videos, liking them, sharing them, taking the time to comment and I will be going through all the comments this week. Yeah, thanks guys for tuning in and I hope you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving if you're in the States and we'll talk next time. All right guys, bye.